Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Thank you so much for being a viewer. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Remember, the Ignition Time channel is about the country, it's about the economy and it's about money. In fact, in this episode, I'll cover some important aspects that are happening today in the country that affect the economy, that affect your money. You see, this article that was published is essentially an update on the Washington Post website that reports that the Wisconsin Supreme Court declined to hear President Trump's campaign challenge to election results. This is the latest setback for the Trump campaign. I'll also be covering stimulus news as you might expect. You'll see this article on your screen from the Washington Post that reveals that more Senate Republicans signal an openness to the $908 billion relief package as things start to get worse in our economy. In another interesting piece of news also published by the Washington Post, President Trump declined to say whether he has confidence in Attorney General Bill Barr. Just uh, incredible that the President would actually decline to answer that. In another article that's also on your screen from Politico, the President rebukes Barr and he complained that the Attorney General has not done anything with fraud claims. The President also said that the Justice Department has not looked very hard, which is a disappointment to be honest with you. In fact, let's hear what the president said today when he was specifically asked about what Bill Barr said, which is that there was no evidence of widespread voter fraud enough to turn the results of the election. And then wait till you watch the very end of this clip where the president answers the question. Look at the president's response when the president is specifically asked, do you have confidence in Bill Barr? Observe how the president pauses and then answers the question. Very interesting stuff. Let's roll the tape. Can I ask you to respond to the comments by your attorney general who indicated he has not seen at this point any evidence of fraud enough to overturn the election results? Given that, why is now not the time to concede? Well, he hasn't done anything, so he hasn't looked. When he looks, he'll see the kind of evidence that right now you're seeing in the Georgia Senate. You know, they're going through hearings right now in Georgia, and they're finding tremendous volumes. So they haven't looked very hard, which is a disappointment, to be honest with you, because it's massive fraud. Uh, whether you go to Wisconsin, where we just filed a case, or Michigan, or if you look at what's happening in Georgia, as an example, or Pennsylvania, uh, if you look at uh, Nevada, which is moving along very rapidly, or Arizona, you saw those numbers come out yesterday, we found massive fraud, and in other states also. This is a probably the most fraudulent election that anyone's ever seen. Do you still have confidence in Bill Barr? Uh, ask me that in a number of weeks from now. And now speaking of unusual exchanges involving attorneys, in this case, the Attorney General, the top the top law enforcement officer of the United States. You'll see this article on your screen uh, that was published by Politico. Pro-Trump legal crusade peppered with bizarre blunders, spelling errors, misplaced states. Yep, misplaced states and client mix-up are the main results so far of Sidney Powell's legal efforts to overturn the election. Here's a comment on your screen from Pamela Pepper, who's a chief judge of the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Wisconsin. She wrote this in an order that was issued in the past 24 hours. While the caption of the motion includes the word emergency and the attached proposed order seeks an expedited injunction, neither the motion nor the proposed order indicate whether the plaintiffs are asking the court to act more quickly or why. As indicated, the motion does not request a hearing. It does not propose a briefing schedule. So, some really interesting stuff going on with uh, the with Sidney Powell, who was on the Trump team because she was in a long press conference with Rudy Giuliani, but who's no longer on the Trump team, but is still acting on behalf of the president to challenge the validity of the election. In other news, you'll see this article on your screen from Bloomberg, and I thought this was very surprising. The U.S. spy chief calls China the greatest threat since World War II. So China poses the greatest threat to America and to democracy around the world since Nazi Germany and policymakers must be prepared for a prolonged period of confrontation with Beijing, according to the Director of National Intelligence, John Ratcliffe. I'll provide you with a link to the article in the description section below. And now let's focus on how the stimulus negotiations are going. If you've been following my channel, I did cover earlier today what members of the Problem Solvers Caucus said, some really passionate statements from Tom Reed, from Josh Gottheimer, from Abigail Spanberger, some really strong comments from the Problem Solvers Caucus about trying to get the whole country together they're trying to get both sides, Democrats and Republicans, together to pass more stimulus. And they did announce that the president was supporting their plan. So I believe that is big news as well. Now we have to wait and see how more Senate Republicans respond. Before I get to that, I'll show you this article on your screen from the Wall Street Journal. 
that says COVID stimulus talks moving in the right direction. Party leaders say state and local aid as well as liability protections remain hurdles in the negotiations. But it looks like the two sides are getting closer. According to the Wall Street Journal, a COVID compromise was within reach. But uh, there was some skepticism about the underlying political tension and the priorities from both sides. Hopefully you've been following my channel today. I did highlight comments from the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell who said that it's time to finally get something done. I also highlighted comments from Kevin McCarthy, uh, the Republican who pointed out that Democrats were focused on, I quote, cats and cannabis but not COVID. The Democrats put cats and cannabis this week. So some pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting uh, back and forth, uh, you know, jabs being taken by both sides. Speaking of interesting back and forth, we're starting to see more and more Republicans support the, the stimulus bill. You'll see this, this tweet on your screen from Jeff Stein over at the Washington Post. Jeff reported that the Republican Senator Kevin Kramer from North Dakota sounds like he's supporting the $900 billion stimulus plan. He said, and I'm quoting, I like the effort. It strikes the right balance of compromise and it's a number that's doable. I want our viewers and subscribers to know that approximately $550 billion out of the $900 billion is essentially repurposed money from the CARES Act. So if Congress does pass it, it's not going to be new money. It's essentially unused money from the CARES Act. So that's interesting. And according to Jeff Stein, six Republican senators are basically at a yes with two more Republican senators leaning that way. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, House Speaker Pelosi, have already said that they want to use that as a framework. Also, another tweet on your screen from Jeff Stein, and he's responding to a comment from Garrett Hack. And uh, Garrett is a correspondent for NBC News. And Garrett said that Lindsey Graham said that he supports the bipartisan $908 billion stimulus bill and that he talked to the president about it today at the White House. He's optimistic that the president will back it once it's fully fleshed out. And he has said... I have never been more hopeful that we'll get a bill. Those are comments from Lindsey Graham. Pretty big comments. And so as Jeff points out, and you'll see the tweet from Jeff on your screen, big movement today among Senate Republicans with praise for the bipartisan $908 billion framework after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer backed it yesterday. So it looks like things are finally falling into place. We know that the president talks to and listens to Lindsey Graham. We know that Lindsey Graham has a lot of influence and many, many Republican senators are now starting to get behind behind the $908 billion bill. Uh, so let's let's wait and see what happens. I'll, I'll be sure to keep you posted. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. You'll find a link to all of our resources in the description section below. As always, please comment below and let us know what you think. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. If you learned something new from this video, please consider clicking the like button. Please subscribe and please enable notifications. The name of our channel is Ignition Time. If you don't know anything about me, check out my video. You'll learn a little bit more about who I am, what my journey has been like, and why you should listen to me. I have to tell you, I have the honor, the privilege, the fortune of living the American dream. I want to be very clear on our channel. It's not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white, and blue. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm American first, as we all are. Remember, you can get on our SMS list. Just get your cell phone out. Send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time. 270,000. That's 70000. You'll get added to SMS alerts list. You'll get breaking news and alerts. If we release any programs and if you're interested in those programs, you'll be notified if you're on the list. Also, you can get added to our email list. Simply go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. That's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts and you can get added to our email list. You can opt out of the email list or the SMS list at any point in time that you want. No worries about that. So please make sure you get on either list. Now, keep in mind that we release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. That's 2 p.m. East Coast time. Sometimes, sometimes YouTube does not send out notifications on time. So all you have to do is simply bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time. That's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. This way you can visit the home page of our channel and you can then watch any video at any point in time that you want without having to be dependent on YouTube notifications. So you may want to do that. Speaking of notifications, follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. Follow us on Instagram for exclusive content specifically for our Instagram followers. You can also follow us on Twitter 
Our Twitter handle is also ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. You'll get breaking news and alerts from us on Twitter. If you learn something new from this video, once again, please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications because that would mean a lot to us. That is your vote of confidence in us. And that tells the YouTube algorithm that you found the video beneficial. Please share this video with friends and family. You know that we don't believe in hype. This channel, the Ignition Time channel is not about false hope. It's not about hype. I have a lot of respect for our viewers and subscribers. I know you can handle the truth. I give you the truth. I'm not going to string you along or essentially give you any false hope. I'm going to let you know what is important as far as the country is concerned, as far as the economy is concerned, and as far as your money is concerned. Because what's going on in the country affects the economy, and what's going on in the economy affects your personal finances, your wallet. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel. And finally, please comment below. Our community is growing. It's very intelligent. It's very bipartisan. You'll probably make some new friends in the community. We are highly respectful. Make sure to become a part of our community. And also, uh, you'll find a link to all of our resources in the description section below. That's one thing that is, a, that is a standard in our channel. We'll always provide you with a link to all our resources so you can check them out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.